D'Angelo, yep. if you're a cowboy, yeah. how yep. would you have felt about that celebration? I mean, I would have been uh, pissed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I was just talking about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we would have probably still been fighting right yep. now. Because that, to me, is, is the ultimate sign of disrespect. I heard uh, Strahan talking about the cell phone. Yeah, you know, the cell phone wasn't that big a deal for me. You know, if somebody pull a cell phone out, showboat on me, who cares? But when you come stand on my star or stand on my logo in the middle of the field and try yep. to mock me and, and mm -hmm. my team, nah, that to me uh, is going to raise a big problem. And 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 it's going to raise a problem moving forward in the game. Like, I'm going to try to hit you harder. Mm -hmm. I'm a, hopefully everybody on my sideline feels the same way I feel about that that situation, and they're going to play just a little bit harder, and you know, with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. And I don't think I I don't think I saw that even even in the guys just standing up for the star itself and pushing him off the star. You saw Byron Jones kind of out there by himself, you know, kind of pushing he, guys he out the way. Himself. And I'm thinking, if, you know, if I'm Tennessee, Byron Jones ain't getting me off that star until mm -hmm. I'm ready to get off that star. <laughs> And so, to me, that's the bigger problem. Why aren't more guys there helping him, you know, in that yeah. situation? And so, to me, that's that's a little bit of a, you know, cause for concern. But, yeah, that totally would not have happened if I was mm. on that team. For mm. me, Skip, you know we had a thing called a mile high salute. Yep. And anytime somebody was a mile high, they sacked John Elway. Guess what they did? The mile high salute. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get mad. And the offensive line, I'm looking right. Yeah, we allowed that to happen. I'm looking at Ed Rod and myself, Ed McCaffrey, Rod Smith. We allowed that to happen. So we don't want a guy to celebrate? Guess what? Stop it. You didn't want me to do the hook when I got in the end zone? Keep me out of the end zone. Mm -hmm. You didn't want me talking trash? Stop me from catching passes. Mm -hmm. Keep TD from rushing 400 yards. The Cowboys could have prevented this. Dak didn't have to throw it. Now, once I get into my celebration, leave me alone. It ain't got nothing to do with you. This is my moment. I've earned this moment, Byron Jones. Mm -hmm. So what I did, <laughs> I didn't hit the both side of the head with a football stick <laughs> because this is my moment. Uh -huh. You could have prevented this moment from happening. People used to get upset at T.O. I was like, if y'all don't want T.O. to dance, Man. keep him out the end zone. <laughs> I'm cool with dancing, though, Shane, but I ain't really, I'm not is, cool with the disrespectfulness of, good. of, of going in, in the middle of the star the, the, and, this and, is and doing the all that. This is the symbol of your greatness. This yes. Is, this is what stands for the Dallas Cowboys. It's a star on the helmet. It's a star in the middle I'm of the field. I'm a star. And I should be standing I mean, on the star. I mean, your celebration and dancing, you can do that. But on the star, yep. I would have just, I would have, I would have liked to see more of a, uh, I would have I would have liked to see Dallas put up more of a fight. I am with you. That should have been a brawl at midfield and it should still be going on. Yep. And I didn't know who Kevin Byard was until just before a playoff game that Tennessee played at New England. Do you remember this mm -hmm. last year? And he, all he did was make first team all pro at safety yeah. last year and I still didn't really know who he was. Right. Until he said something about Tom Brady. He said we want to turn Tom Brady into Blake Bortles. Remember he said that yeah. before the playoff game at Foxborough, and Tom Brady proceeded to throw for 337 <laughs> and three touchdowns, and it was 35-14 to 14 New England because that's the one guy you don't mess with before the game <laughs> yep. starts, right? Yep. yep. That was a bad idea on his part, and we said it here on the show, and he – I'm not sure Tom actually pointed him like he did that Pittsburgh kid that time, that Smith kid. Remember when he ran all the way to the end zone, got in his face after he had guaranteed a victory at, at Foxborough? But the point is, Kevin Byard has this in common with Terrell Owens. They both went to little schools in Tennessee, Middle Tennessee for Kevin and Tennessee Chattanooga for mm -hmm. T.O. Mm -hmm. They were both third-round picks who were kind of unheralded who rose up to the top pretty quickly because Terrell, boy, he was gifted. Like, that, that was a steal to get him in the third round. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Byard was a steal in the third round. And he wants attention. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's brazen. And he wants to, to put it. himself on the map. And he put himself in the middle of the map because is there any more publicized point in the universe than that star? In, the NFL in that, logo in is it. Well, it's yeah, probably wrote on. most yeah. recognizable NFL logo. It is. It's the most recognizable. Mm -hmm. So he got away with not only – that was the turning point, I think, of the season mm -hmm. for the Dallas Cowboys, and my quarterback made the biggest mistake of his career with that overthrow and forced into double coverage. And bayard has got the presence – I don't know if he'd already premeditated yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure he, he did. He runs all the way to the start and goes T.O., 
And I wanted somebody to challenge him more than just a little patty cake. That, yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's what Byron Jones, it was funny that a 31, Byron Jones, was the one who tried to push him off the star. It was George Teague, 31, who yep. knocked Terrell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. George got him pretty good. He got him really behind. good. Yeah. Yep. Th- but here's, here's, here's the thing, Skip. Now, this could have lit a fire up under the Cowboys, mm-hmm. but it actually lit a fire up under the Texans. It did. Uh, uh, you, you well, t- they totally scored agree. him 28-7. Yeah. yeah, you know what happened after that? I guarantee what happened after that. Kevin goes to the sideline. These dudes soft. They soft. I'm in the middle of their star. They ain't doing mm-hmm. nothing. They soft. Let's go whoop them. Okay. And, and they and did. Ultimately, that's what happened. You know what? Why you want to fight? Hold on. <laughs> we get to play 60 minutes between the, between the white lines. We get to go to snap the whistle. You don't want to fight me then. You want to fight me because I went and stood on the star. Do you actually think you, I think you tough because you come push me off the star <laughs> and I'm whipping you between these white lines and you can't do anything about it? Okay, but I tweeted this at that moment. You need to get mad and make him regret it because that's the only way to really yeah. put him back in his place. Yeah. Is to, is to, yeah. you, that should spark rage in the Cowboys sideline and instead it exposed them as this lifeless bunch over there who, yeah. that there was no urgency, there was no immediacy. That they came out flat and they stayed flat when when he stood on their star and basically on it. Yep. He, he spit Still on the star. No, he spit on it. Yeah. That's what he did, right? Because he know y'all was soft and y'all were gonna do nothing. He actually did something <laughs> else to the star, but I don't want to say it publicly. You you yeah. told me, you told me yeah. the Cowboys, they're undefeated at home. Mm-hmm. Oh, they'll be ready to play. Mm-hmm. At I, I home. I thought so. I thought so. How you a man gonna come in? Wait, wait a second. You thought they were gonna be you picked them too. too. I like the jeans. Yeah. I got a jeans oh, going. Okay. I'm two and oh skip. Guess what? Yeah. I'm gonna pick them next week against the uh, uh, Eagles too. It's over. It nah, no, no, no. Don't do that. No. I'm not going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, no, Skip. You see what he's trying to do? He's going to oh, skip, I, I'm not trying to do anything. I can see it. He's y'all is over. No, you, no, you're finally going to win a bet against me. They are not going to win the division, so they will not make the playoffs. Yeah. Over. No, over no, and no, out. No. I conceded. Uh, it's over. How, man? How you let a man come in your house and stand on your coffee I, table in the middle of the room? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How you do that? Where they do that at? And you ain't say nothing, man. You ain't do nothing. That, that's the that's the coffee table in the middle of the living room. You know that that's With that's a product on. of yeah. That, that's Coach Clap. That's Jason Garrett. That's that's, that's a product of that. That's just this. That's what this is. You fumble. You throw an interception. It's okay. It's okay. That that's who. You, that that's the character of your football. He did team. challenge though. Yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you brought that up because I meant to bring that up in the Jason Garrett topic. <laughs> Was that not the most what, foolish challenge what in did, history? What did he think he uh-huh. skill? The dude, you can't look. When the dude's on the ground and you land on top of him, you can't pull the ball out. They're going to say it's a catch. He's down. I'm like, what are you doing? Because yeah, they went to know. commercial yeah. break and, and he caught it falling down on his mm-hmm. butt, but yeah. he had both his feet in bounds, yeah. right? And he, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm saying, remember, it came the play after – the play that I thought Dallas did get screwed on the one where the the tight end, yeah. the fullback, you know, he caught it, and I thought he, uh, what's his name, you Stocker, that was a catch on yeah, the he, he he caught oh, it and, and made made a football right play. I didn't think so. he made a play. Did he not have control? He of the barely football? got the two feet down. As soon as he got the two feet down and had the catch, then it late, was out. Leighton Van Der Esch got him. He got him good. Flying Dutchman, right? Yeah, the tackling, tackling Dutchman. Dutchman. <laughs> but he was flying on that one. I mean, he, right. he playing. I mean, J- Jalen Smith making some plays too. That dude, Smith, Smith is but that dude, athletic. Oh, yeah, he thunk. Okay, it. and Marcus Mariota looked like Tom Brady, despite all. Of the oh advice. no, Sean Lee. Yeah. Oh no, Sean Lee. Yeah. Skip. He uncovered in, in, in uh, Tampa too. You can't let the tight end get up the seam on you. You got all you got to do is just take off running. Yeah, but what a throw that was! He, he drops it in between three Cowboys. Yeah. They got three guys surround him, yeah. and it hits him right here. Perfect. Like, oh, Marcus. Perfect. Marcus Mariota Brady. How did that happen? No, yeah, he brought them team huh? on down there. <laughs> oh, oh, Brady got him playing. You know what, Marcus Mariota? That was the game of his life. No, 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 He'll no, never yeah. play. No, 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 no. Like you again. saw him. In, you saw him in the playoff game against New, uh, against Kansas City. Mm. They were down twenty-one-three yeah. on the road. Mm. And what did he do? Who brought won, him back. Who won that game? Tennessee did. I don't even remember that. That's how they went to New oh, England. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, oh check down Alex. Mm. Had a team at home, 21-3 down. That was the end of Alex Smith in Kansas City. Yeah, oh. you think? Yeah. I've been trying to tell end, you that for the moment. It's not the end of Alex Smith in Washington. It is. It's over. Mm. It's, it's, years of that it's over. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah, they got to do. Mm. <laughs> it's over? It's over now. Yeah, watch. You know what? I still like Washington to win this division. You want but, but put some more doing it. I'm not going to put any. You're going to I'm up 10 cases. Why would I waste one? Wait, no, no, you ain't wasting it. If you believe it, have the courage of your conviction. Mm, we'll see. Huh? Let me hold it right we'll now. See. I got a case of do on Brady at Tennessee. You want that? 
Nope. You love the Titans? Nope. Huh? You want it? Mm -mm. You can have it. Mm -mm. Thank you. Mm -mm. Very competitive. I got a case of do he ain't playing in 2022. Mm. I'll take that. Okay. Done. That's a we got a long yeah. way to go long, long before to go. we have the answer to that. I hope I'm still here for that one. Well, 2022. After last night, that took five years off my life, so I'm not sure I'll be oh, around. Oh yeah, yeah you, don't you, we going to work. Yeah. We don't want to hear that yeah. from you. I'm well, sorry. You never know. It's tough. We are we're still talking about it. Not but hey, D'Angelo, thank you for being no here. Problem.